All right, welcome to the Spelling Netcast, your next lesson. Make sure you're prepared with your zip top bag, scissors for cutting out the words, a beautiful pencil, make sure it's sharp for you to write. We always like the glue, just for the first part of it, your beautiful notebook to write your sorts in, and most important of all, the words. Make sure you've got those words. We're going to cut the words out first so that you can uh, get them cut out. So, let's grab our scissors and let's do a little cutting. All right, you'll notice that our uh, sort today is going to be another set of Latin roots. Love that. All right, so today we're going to practice our spelling. I will begin by saying aloud a word, and then I want you to repeat the word and then write it. Now, I'm going a little bit slower while I cut these, because some of you have said, you cut out too fast, so I thought I'd better just uh, do a little cutting, a little slower. All right, you'll notice I cut around the outsides, then I cut right up the center. Okay, right up. Oh, looks like I gotta cut these babies out, our, our exemplars. Gotta get that off the top there. So let's get that. We'll take care of those in just a minute. And then I cut these all out this way. And then I just set them right on top of each other. Now, when you're at home, you don't have to write your name on the back of them, you know, unless you feel like it. Good practice for school. But uh, this shouldn't take you much longer than uh, this. Now, I use bigger scissors sometimes, so, but I got bigger hands. All right, so, all right, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Now, I want you to repeat the words after I say them, making each sound in the word. Now, the better we become at spelling, the better readers and writers we will be. So make sure you write everything that I write, all right? I've got all these words here, so I'm just going to kind of throw them on the side here so that I can, whoa, all right, I'm going to pick out a couple words that I'm going to go over with you, all right, I think we've got almost all of them there, all right, so looks like what we have here is we've got a couple of uh, word or our, our Latin roots which is uh, um, vent ven we've got junked which is that's kind of funny we got spear and then we got sec or sect all right, so we're going to set these up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, we cut off the end here, turn that over, put a little glue on it, and we're going to throw that up at the top. All right, make sure you got that ready to go. Now we got to find our pencil, and let's put our things up at the top. All right, where are they? Don't seem to be moving with me. We got van, vent. We got junked. Is that like junk? I don't know. Guess we'll have to find out, won't we? We got spear. We got sec or sect. Now, I usually like you to keep this in with this red line here, but it looks like we got too many of these today. So let's write these down. We've got van slash vent. We got junked. Ooh, look at that. Can't even spell that right. So, I hope you're using this time to make sure that you're getting your words in. Sect and sect. All right, let's underline those and let's talk about what these words mean. All right, you ready? Let's get that off the side here. All right, so these are all Latin roots. We've got ven or vent. Now these words, if we look at uh, what we've got here, we've got a, our a ven or a ven or vent, 
We've got convene. I'm going to put that in there. Convene. Convene. We're going to do ven. We're going to underline just the V-E-N. And that actually means, convene means to come together. So ven or vent means to come. And then to vene, to come together, is convene. So we're looking uh, at those words to mean to come. All right? Now we get to junked. And let's pick this word right here. J-U-N. And looks kind of weird. Junction. Junction. What is a junction? A junction is a place where two or more things are combined or they come together, but we're going to put it to join. Got that? To join. So a junction is where everything is joining together. Now we've got spear. That one's kind of an interesting one, but let's talk spear for a second because spear is an interesting one because spear actually means to breathe. To breathe. So we've got to write that down. And write that down. To breathe. So as we're looking through our my words here, and I can't find the one I wanted to show you for. Oh, there it is. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Or to conspire. Now, conspire is interesting because some of these, they take on more of a metaphorical or connotative meaning, which means it kind of represents something else than what it actually is. But to conspire literally means to breathe with. So when you have a conspiracy, that means you have a close relationship with people. And apparently uh, you're going against somebody else. So that's what a conspire is, to breathe with people. Now if you look at expire, S-E-X-P... Uh, I-R-E, make sure you get that spelled correct. Let's take that S-P-I-R right here. And that P-I-R-E, P-I-R right there. Expire, which it doesn't really have the S in it, but to expire literally means to breathe out. And so if you expire, you breathe out for the last time. So we don't want you to expire, and I hope I don't expire soon, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Now, sect or sect. Now, this one's an interesting one, because we got dissect, so we put D-I-S-S-E-C-T. Notice those two S's in there, okay? But we've got dissect, which means to cut. So if we're going to cut things into pieces, we dissect them. But check this one out. In sect. So we've got sect there, we've got sect there. So if dissect means to cut it into pieces, what does insect mean? Does it mean to bring it all back together? Actually, insects are cut into three different sections. We've got the head, the thorax, and they've got the uh, that middle piece, whatever it's called. You guys better know that from fourth grade. All right, so that's what we've got for you today. What I need you to do now is I need you to finish this sort. Make sure you read all the words. Make sure you spell the words, and then write it in the correct areas. Make sure you get those all done. Just remember, vent or van, veen. To come, junked means to join, spur or spire means to breathe, and sec or sect means to cut. Got it? All right. Good luck. See you later. All right. Remember, once you get all of your words all cut out and you got your words sorted, 
Make sure that you grab your zip top bag, throw those babies in there, zip them up tight, put them somewhere where no one's going to get them, on the top of your refrigerator, um, in your room somewhere where you're not going to lose them, don't throw them on the floor, or if you want to keep them in your backpack, that's fine, but you better make sure that you have them that night. Do not forget to take them home. Got it? You need these at home. Finish this sort. Any questions? Well, I can't answer them anyways. Okay. If you have questions, bring them to school. We will talk about them at school. All right. Good luck.